Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, I'll be teaching three different methods on how to install Forge. The first method will be for our version changer. The second will be through Forge's page if you ever require updating it. And the third method is going to be how to install the client version. Please note, if you're ever trying to run a Forge server, both the server needs to be running the same version of Forge and the client needs to be running the same version of Forge as well. Both the client and the server need to be running the same mods in order for you to join properly. First, let's show how to do it for our version changer. All you have to do is click versions, then go into Forge. And here you have all the versions that you can install from it. From Forge version 1.17 and up, Forge did change the setup process. So if you're running anything from 1.16 and below, you don't need to follow this step at all. So all you need to do is select the Forge version you're going to be running. For this example, we're going to be installing 1.18.2. Gonna go ahead and click yes, and just allow it to install the files. However, if you did have anything regarding plugins or data packs or anything like that, I highly recommend you just delete all files and do a fresh install. Forge can be messy sometimes, so it's better just to start everything as default. After that, you can go into the file manager and you'll see all the necessary files we need to run. This may look different depending on your version for 16 and below as Forge did change their files on 1.17 and above. All we have to do is go ahead and click start. The version changer will do everything you need, such as the startup flags will be changed for Forge version 1.17 and above to the proper flags that Forge requires. After a certain amount of time, it will pop with the ULA. You go ahead and click accept and that's really all it takes and it'll just generate all the files you need. All right, and as you can see, the server has successfully started. Now, what we're gonna do is do the same process. However, this is if you ever require to update your Forge version. You can request it over to our team to update it for you, but this may not be instant. So if you wanna take it to your own hands, this is how you do it. Go ahead and go to Forge. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And here you're gonna select the version you want. Since we are running 1.18.2, we're gonna be running the same thing again, just by clicking 1.18.2 here, and then either download for Windows or Mac, I'm going to be running on Windows and usually I just get the latest. You can get the recommended, but latest just always seems to work fine. Here we have the file we just downloaded. All you have to do is double click it. Make sure you have Java installed and just click OK. A minion like this should pop up and here we can install client and a server. Now for this, I'm actually going to create a new folder on my desktop and just name it Forge. It really does not matter what name it is. I'm going to go ahead and click install server and I'm going to change its directory because right now it's going to be installed in the Minecraft directory. For that, you can just go ahead and click on desktop and then you can just put it onto the folder we just created. So in this case, Forge. I'll just click open and here it tells us directory it's going to be installed. We can just go ahead and click OK and then we're going to get another menu which it just shows that it's downloading all the files. After a short bit, it should be over. And then last pop up you should get is this one. You can go ahead and click OK and everything will close down by itself. Now we can actually open up the folder and in there, we're gonna be seeing all these files. There's only one last step we actually have to do with this is go into libraries, go into net, and then we have to go into Minecraft Forge, then Forge, and then whichever folder is available here. So usually it is the version of your Forge, but there should only ever be one. So we're just gonna go ahead and open that one. And in here, and then we're gonna go ahead and copy this file unix underscore args.txt. We are required to do this in order to make sure it runs properly. We can go back into the main folder, so where all the main files are at, and we're just gonna go ahead and paste it into here. Now, if you have WinRAR, you can go ahead and create a zip and we'll just call it Forge again, doesn't matter the name. And we're just add all those files into the zip. This allows us to upload the files much easier. We got that set up. Now we can actually go back to the website. We can go into File Manager and then here we can upload everything to the root directory, which is container. So I'll go ahead and just drag and drop it into our folders and just let it upload. Once everything's uploaded, go ahead and click Stop to make sure the server is offline while we're doing this. Then we're gonna go ahead and locate our zip, which is forge.zip, and we're just gonna unarchive it. This is just to ensure we have all the files uploaded and unzip. Now that we're done, we can actually start up our server. However, I'm not actually going to do that step as I'm more than certain the server is going to start. The only thing we have to do is run the client version now. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this folder and I'm going to run this installer again. However, we're not going to be installing the server this time, but we're going to be installing the client. This is because you need to ensure you have the client installed in order to join the server. Instead of clicking server, we're going to go ahead and click install client. Just click OK. And after that, it's just going to be downloading all the files you need. You'll pop up with this menu again, go ahead and click OK, and everything closes. After that, you can actually delete this file as we're not going to need it anymore. You can load up your Minecraft client, and what you'll see is this should be a new menu just to run 1.18.2 Forge. And then you can just go ahead and click play. And that is all the steps you truly need to do in order to install and run Forge both on the client and on the server, and also how to update it. Hope this video was informative. If you'd like to see any more content, please let us know in the description. Other than that, we hope you have an amazing day, and thank you for choosing Revive Node.